Okay, Sean, so I think it's been three or four weeks since you signed for the club. How have yeah. you settled in? Yeah, no, really well. Um, I knew a couple of the boys uh, beforehand, like Elliot, I was at Dagenham with Elliot a few years back. Um, knew the gaffer, John, really well. He, um, we have a good relationship, so no, it's all good. How did the move come about in the end then? Come about, it was a weird one. Um, we, something happened at Yeovil when I, when I left and then um, uh, the gaffer got in contact with me straight away and it was a bit of a no-brainer because I, I wanted to play for someone that believed in me, knows what I'm about and just I really just want to start enjoying my football again. And when we had the supporters even in here a couple of weeks ago, John was yeah. really glowing in his reference towards you. How yeah. important is that relationship you've got with him? Yeah, no, it's very important. I done. Um, he gave me my first opportunity in football. I went on loan when I was at West Brom to Dagenham. We got to the playoffs and I played more or less every single game. So um, he believes in me, and I was wanted to repay him and come down here, help the football club out, and help him out. So in terms of on the pitch, obviously yeah. not going so well as a team. But how have you done individually since you've been here? Yeah, I feel like I'm playing well. I feel really fit. Um, I, I personally I feel like I'm playing well. I've got a little niggle on um, Tuesday night and I was just, I think it was a game we would have won. I think we had a few injuries, so um, it was a bit unlucky the other night. How frustrating was that to have to come off at half time on Tuesday? Yeah, you never want to come off. I come out early to see if I could carry on. So in transfer news today we've uh, signed your brother Leo. I uh, what will we <laughs> yeah, I we didn't even know. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Oh, bloody well. So what will he uh, bring to the table? Um, he's an attacking player. Good quality, um, good set pieces, and um, yeah, no, he's got good, real good quality about. Him. And I'm all right in thinking you played him with Dagenham as well. Worcester, Dagenham, yeah. Um, Worcester and Dagenham, he was a bit young, he was very young, he'd um, done okay, um, didn't fulfil his potential there, but he's um, grown up in the past year and a half or so, and I've, he's, he's looked like he's filled out. I've watched a couple of his game, games of late, and he looks looks like a man now so hopefully I'll bring a lot to the table like we spoke about earlier with Stilly he's someone who hopefully can bring out that potential in players isn't he oh yeah definitely he got, he got the best out of me and I'm sure he'll get the best out of Leo as well and he'll get the best out of the boys here as well so looking ahead to tomorrow's game yeah. uh, it's like quite a nice distraction really and the prize of getting to Wembley in a few games time if we keep winning in the trophy yeah no um, it's, a, it's a strange one I, we should, I feel like we should win tomorrow obviously we're the team in the higher high division but their form's been outstanding of late but um, if we play like we did against Salford I'm sure we'll win